what is the reality of recycling? Recycling might be part of the solution, but if things have no value because it's cheaper to buy virgin plastic, then you don't have a system that is a cycle. It is a cradle to grave system. That is not sustainable. And that is why it's coming back to bite us. That is why we're finding all this plastic in the ocean, rivers, and now we're finding microfibers in bottled drinking water. It's kind of crazy. So we are plastic. We are bionic. I mean, you know, who knows? And I think that it's interesting that humankind is evolving so that we can tolerate a certain threshold of chemicals because the other problem with plastic is when it's in the ocean, it's also absorbing other persistent organic pollutants to the surface. So you're getting like a plastic chemical bomb, basically. You know, recycling is a really nice idea, but it only works if there's an infrastructure to support it. But if different materials don't have value, and at the moment, only plastic bottles seem to have some value, not the caps and not many other plastic packaging, right? Uh, and some of it, including polystyrene, give off toxins that they leached into the food and the beverages. So we're potentially poisoning ourselves with it. It's toxic. How does eating and drinking all of our foods out of plastic packaging impact our health? We now know a lot about that, and it appears that it doesn't affect our health in a positive way. What is it that we can do to create change and to reduce the amount of exposure that we have personally in our own life, for our children, for our family, in our workplace, in our school, in our city, in our town, to change that so that people are not exposed to as many toxins, you know? I mean, there are some people who would like plastic to be designated as a toxic substance. Maybe we'll see that one day.